there, it's Mary from stampingmary.stampingup.net. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today's project features this card using the Sharing Sunshine stamp set. Now this stamp set is featured in the new 2021 Stamping Up catalogue and you'll find this stamp set on page, let me tell you, it is on page um, 39 of the new catalogue. It's a very, very cute stamp set. And you know what? What's so great about it is that it just coordinates with so many other stamp sets. Here's one of the car a card using it there. Uh, well, sorry, one of the images of it on the card there. It's very cute. Cute little sun sunny face there. I've used um, Smoky Slate uh, as the base for this card. So let me go ahead and show you how I did it. So I've just got half a piece of cardstock of Smoky, smoky Slate here and another piece which I've already gone ahead and embossed using the um, Tasteful Textures embossing folder. Love that embossing folder and I hope you can see it. See it's got a little bit of texture. Very much, very, um, very, very light, very subtle, but I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So let me show you how I, I've gone ahead and done it. So I've already die cut a piece of crushed curry cardstock and I've already stamped the little um, this little image here. And I've stamped it and cut it out using one of the small circle dies. Um, let's go ahead and stamp the smiley face. So very cute. Oops. And then I'm going to do this one. Oh, the um, the star <laughs> in Bumblebee on a basic white cardstock. And then just going to fussy cut it because there's no dye. This is a very... Um, one of the most inexpensive stamp sets in the catalog i think if you're in australia i think it's 28 dollars it's a photopolymer stamp set and as i said before one of the things i really like about it is that it um you can add it into so many other uh of your existing um stamp sets and uh, yeah, it's just really a good stamp set. So we'll just get this fussy cut. Pretty easy to fussy cut. If you're not a fussy cutter, you could um, just leave it. And that would look equally good. But just um, depends what you are differences Let's attach all these together Oops, not quite so well. Let's cut just there, Mary. It's better. And layer it on there. Go. So that's that done. Put the rest of the card together. I've got a piece of pattern paper from the um, the pattern paper selection. It's in towards the back of the Stamping Up catalog. It's a host um, pattern paper. It's a huge, big bundle of um, of paper. So it's got this fabulous check on one side, and then on the other side, it's got the coordinating uh, crushed curry color. So I'm just going to um, attach a little. Just a little bit of it peeking out the bottom there, just so it gives a little bit of fun. 
to the bottom and I'm not getting too worried about where it's going to have it um, a little bit there just a little bit yeah now I've gone ahead and used one of the tailored tags dies because I'm using them on everything at the moment and I've gone ahead and stamped happy birthday sunshine in um, memento and then in bumblebee for the sunshine and I, it's one complete um, stamp but I'm just going to cut that there because it's going to have it on an angle and the sunshine's also going to be just a very narrow strip so, so I'm going to adhere the sunshine a little bit of Tombow let's bring in my silicone mat put it there and then the happy birthday will come this way just take a bit off that one oh. if you're wondering about these tailored tags dies and thinking about whether or not they're worthwhile I have used them I think on just about every card I've made or any every um, project I've made recently so yes <laughs> in my stamping up world they are definitely worth purchasing um, they're super versatile we don't have the tailored tag punch anymore so this is really taking for me taking the place of them This one on with a little bit more of the Tombow. Happy birthday. Oops. It was about to be upside down. Birthday sunshine. It's an easy card, really an easy card. Um, let's pop that up with some dimensionals. Yeah, so the sorry, like I was saying, the tailored tag um, dies. I do recommend them. If you are on the fence, they are worthwhile. Just lay that down there. And then to layer that onto our embossed piece. I like the combination of the smoky slate, the crushed curry, and then the the pops of um, the basic black there. I really like that. Keeps it simple. So this could be a male. This is a really a gender a gender neutral card, male or female. It, anything will go. And I've already gone ahead and cut out a bow. Because sometimes me and bows on videos 
just don't feel the love. There we go. And onto the card base. Um, should we go flat or should we go with dimensionals? I think dimensionals. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Layering that down. I don't make a lot of smoke cards with smoky slate but I, I like that one so when I did uh, this one earlier I actually have put a piece of uh, basic white uh, insert in here and then just did a little couple of strips of the paper just to, to carry that that same color through but obviously that is completely optional so there you have it um, a sweet and pretty simple little card using the sharing sunshine stamp set i hope you enjoyed that video or the um, if you have a look at the description bar below you'll see a link to all the products i use today have a great and crafty day and thank you for watching bye